Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going to go through today's bell work questions and answers. So you can access the questions in Schoology. So first question is we have an egg that is dropped from a roof of the school and it takes 1.35 seconds to hit the ground. How far did the egg fall? So for this problem, what you have to notice is it says how far did the egg fall? Since you have the word fall in your problem, that's telling you that you have a free fall problem. So the first thing that you should recognize is that we have time, 1.35 seconds, so that's my time. Because the word fall is in your problem, you should also recognize that you have gravity, which means that you have gravitational acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. This is information that you need to know. So then based off of that, because the question says, how far did I did the egg fall? That means we're asking for the distance. So between the two different free fall problems that we have, the distance formula is the one that we're going to use. So based off of what we've been given, the formula that we're going to use, we just plug everything in and then we solve. Make sure that you're very careful to notice that once you are doing the math portion that we have the time is squared. So before you actually do the math, you want to square the 1.35 seconds, and then you multiply that times the 9.8, then you divide the entire thing by two. That is how you get your answer mathematically. But remember I said if you have all this information, meaning all your knowns, you have your formula that you're going to use to solve, you plug everything in, the numbers with the units, and then you have the correct unit for your answer, okay? then if your math is incorrect, I will still give you full credit. All right, next question. We have a ball that's rolling down a hill that accelerates from 40.0 meters per minute to 60.0 meters per minute in a time period of thir three minutes. What is its ball's acceleration? So again, the information that we know, it says when reading the problem, it went and it, it says accelerate from 40, to 60. So when you read the problem, that means that my initial velocity, because meters per minute is a distance over time, is my 40, that's my initial, that's my starting point. And then it says 260, so that means that's my final velocity. Then it says the time period of three minutes, so that's my time. Question says acceleration, so that's what I'm solving for. So that formula would be our acceleration formula. We plug in all of our information and then we solve. Again, you need to make sure that you have everything identified, Mean that if you're going to circle it, you need to make sure that you label what you circle. You don't just circle it and you tell me that that's what you know, because unless you actually identify what you circled, that's the only way that I know for sure you do know what you've been given. And then you plug everything in with its units and then solve. Next problem, it says if you have, if you drop a hundred ke kilogram kettlebell and a one gram ball from the same height, which will hit the ground first? So remember, everything falls at the same rate because of gravity. Everything in terms of speed will be different, but the rate in which that speed changes to hit the ground or to reach the earth is the 9.8 meters per second squared. Since these two objects, even though they're different masses, have are falling from the same height, it will hit the ground at the same time due to the acceleration being the same rate. All right, last bellwork question. I've got Justine who is ice skating. What is her final velocity if she accelerates at a rate of 2 meters per second squared for 3.5 seconds from rest? So again, I'm searching for her final velocity because that's what the question asks. It says I'm accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. That's my acceleration. It says that I start from rest, so that is my initial velocity. And then my time, of course, is the 3.5 seconds. So final velocity is what I'm looking for. Again, this is my acceleration formula, but I highly recommend that you write your formula in this way because you're solving for one of your Vs. So once you do that, 
you plug everything in. So you can plug it in in either formula, but I'm going to plug it into this one so that you can see mathematically how to solve for your VF. So you see that you're multiplying your acceleration times your time. Your seconds will cancel, so therefore you're only left with meters per second. And then since it is VF, which is like your X in an algebra problem, minus zero, your zero falls off, and so therefore your final velocity is seven meters per second. This is a problem you will see on your test, so make sure that you understand how to do it and you have this written into your notebook. Your bell work is due today, so please make sure that you take a picture of your completed bell work and submit it into Schoology. If you do not submit it into Schoology, um, by the time that I grade it, then it will be a zero until you show me your completed bell work on next class, which would be Tuesday. If you have any questions, please make sure you reach out.